multi-award winning country music legend Adam Brand, whose uh, stellar career spans more than two decades and uh, classified as country music royalty, has leapt back into the spotlight with the release of his brand new single, All or Nothing, the outstanding track I just played just a few seconds ago. The track is a follow-up to Adam's top 10 national charting country airplay single, Still the One, that has garnered over half a million music streams and counting. Both tracks will feature on his forthcoming new album to be released later this year. Combining irresistible pop production and Adam's earthy brand of country soul, the track is a heartfelt and engaging song that explores the feelings of connection and hope while delivering a toe-tapping dance floor-ready beat, which pretty much guarantees it a well-deserved place at the very top of the Australian country music charts. Since bursting onto the scene with his celebrated self-titled debut album in 1998, Adam has taken home 12 Country Music Association of Australia Golden Guitar Awards and netted himself six ARIA Award nominations. That's not a bad effort, if you ask me. Uh, across 15 studio, 15 studio albums, well, Adam has collected three platinum and five gold album certifications and taken out seven Country Music Channel Oz Artist of the Year awards more than any other artist in the awards history. Starting with his third studio album, the high-octane Built for Speed in 2002, Adam has enjoyed an unbroken string of number one charting Aria Country albums with Speed of Life, uh, which was released last year, taking out the number six spot on the overall Aria albums chart, uh, making it his uh, sixth studio album to reach the top ten. As confirmed by dozens of number one hit singles, Adam unquestionably ranks among the most successful Australian artists of all time. There can be now no doubt whatsoever that uh, Adam Brand is a performer whose incomparable appeal and status as a nationwide fan favourite has been achieved through hard yakka and the highest standards of professionalism, along with an abundance of plain, old-fashioned, natural talent. I previously interviewed Adam last December, so I'm truly delighted uh, and once again greatly honoured to have Adam standing by on the phone waiting to have another chat with me, so I'll keep him waiting no longer. Adam, how you going, mate? I'm doing well. Wow, that was some intro, mate. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, look, you, you deserve it. <laughs> you know, uh, that you've, you've been around for 20 years, like I said, so there's a lot of ground to cover and... You know, I like people to know who I'm talking to. Not that you need any introduction. Um, oh, mate, it's a, it's a very, very nice introduction. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, credit where it's due. Um, look, it's great to have you back on the show and uh, welcome again once uh, once again to the Country Club. Uh, it's always a treat to have you on the show. Um, now, last time I, to- I spoke to you, you were uh, not f- long away from getting on the Yacht Club that that huge uh, um, uh, event vessel out of uh, the Gold Coast. How'd that go? Mate, it was awesome. It was with my mates Matt Cornell and James Blundell. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it was a... I mean, as, as you say, it was, it was, they call it a yacht, but it's like a floating... like a floating conference or a big events um, venue, you know? Big yeah. stage, big sound system, bars and... There's a mezzanine floor where people could look down and watch from there, or a big dance floor there. And, wow! Um, yeah, the boat the boat was it was quite amazing, and it got rocking. And when people all started jumping and dancing at the same time, the the boat actually started rocking. <laughs> 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 that would have been amazing. I, I have had a look at it on on, on the website, and uh, gee, you know, that's a that is an impressive tinny, uh, tinny I've got to tell you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Absolutely, mate. So, uh, but um, I, I think I, I saw somewhere where you got another gig coming up on it. Um, no, Maddie's going to do a gig. He, he does a show where he does an, does an 80s, 80s music show, and he's going to do one on there. So oh, okay. it'll be a lot of fun. I might just go along and, you know, dress up as 
dress up in some 80 gears, 80s gear and just hang out. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, it sounds... Uh, I mean, any excuse to get on that barge, eh? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, tell us the story behind All or Nothing. I mean, that is a great song, mate, I've got to tell you. And I understand uh, it was co-written uh, with uh, the Wolf Brothers, uh, Tom and um, Tom and Nick. I mean, what a what a team! You and those two guys. Wow, how was that? Yeah. Uh, but listen, how did that work out? Because I mean, they're down in Tassie, and you're mm. um, you're you're up in um, you know Sydney somewhere, and um, yeah. uh, uh, you know how how, how did uh, how, how did it work? You know, putting putting your heads together with that song. Yeah, look, it's, uh, like everything else these days, it was all over FaceTime and Zoom. Um, okay. You know, we all sort of just got together in front of our screens. And, and yeah, look, I, I, I love the guys, Tom and Nick. I just think they're super talented and they're really good boys. And and I knew I wanted to write this song with them. As this, the song talks about authenticity, talks about, you know, giving 100% for something and when you believe in something, really standing behind it. Um, it it's about having having first-hand experience in something that you that you believe in and, and giving everything to it, you know. And and, the, and I knew, you know, I had the idea for this song and I knew I wanted to write this with the boys because these boys live that, you know. They, mm. they, lived, they were born and bred on a family farm and the family farm's still going. Yep. You know what it's like to, to persevere and to, and to put everything into it. They are, they are country to their core. Yep. And, um, and I just knew that this... This song, which stands for all of that, those things, and then it talks about all the things that we've been through over the years, and and how much life has changed, you know, over the last hundred years or so. But the core values are still exactly the same. Mm. Um, and that's if you, you know, if you believe in something, stand up tall and, and give it everything you've got because it's all or nothing. And and um, and so yeah, yeah, you know, that's what the song's about. And and uh, I was, was honoured to write it with the boys. Yeah. Um... Well, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong with those two. I've I've, uh, I've spoken to uh, to Nick uh, a couple of times on the show. And he, he's a he's a nice bloke. I mean, he's, he's so easy to talk to, and yeah, you know, they're, they're both so uh, so talented, and and they've got a great band. You know, when 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 um, you know they get uh, recording and or go on tour or whatever, they've got such a great band that uh, uh, that backs them up. You know, and uh, you know, great musos to work together. I love it. Yeah, but you know what this 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 uh, career often you'll see the person's name in lights, or you'll see um, you know just them them advertise or their name on the CD. But it, it is a team. It is most definitely a team effort. You know, you yep. need good people around you, and um, no one gets there alone. And no. as you said, you know, you know, with a good band around you and, and all yep. these things. But uh, yeah, that that it extends to management and people that you have close to you and yeah 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 you, you, you're right i mean um you know uh, to to the uh to the public eye all they see is the tip of the triangle um mm. you, you know or tip of the pyramid rather but um you know uh that there's so much there's so many other people involved in a successful album or a successful single or um uh, you know people you never ever hear about you know you just read about them in the credits on the album sleeve you know um That's right but yeah. um, you know the engineers and the producers and you know the st- uh, the, the studio musicians, uh, the session musos, um, you know the list goes on and on. But uh, like you say, it's never just a one man show, is it? Uh, when uh, something good uh, is produced, hundred percent, mate. Yeah, you need a good team around you, and, and that, that's true in anything in life, you know. It is. And that, getting back to the getting back to the song you know it's it's about that too it's it's about having you know people who you trust and love around you and you know if you want true friends and learn to be one if you want you know if, it, if it's just if it's a country song make it a real one and yep. you know if you want to stand on stage and be the next big thing we'll go and put some hard yards in you know and it's just all about those values yeah yeah um now uh I I, uh, I had a I had a couple of uh, looks at uh, the uh, YouTube clip that um, goes with the song, and it, you know it's uh, it's really well put together. Who who who, uh, who did that? Who produced the clip? Uh, look, it's a mate of mine who's done a lot of my videos over the years, and um, you know we always work together on these things. And and the the video was done at a, a good friend of mine and his family's working property. 
Okay. You know, the, the case header that I'm singing on top of towards the end of the song. Yeah. The day, be- the day before I got there was um, was out there, you know, harvesting sorghum. So, <laughs> okay. You know, the, the, it's a it's a real authentic farm, and 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 that's what I you know really felt that this needed to the, the song needed reality in there because that's what it's yep. about, you know. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it does. It, it looks. It, it's got that rustic feel to it. But um, I'm, I'm curious. Were you driving that uh, that four wheel drive that was doing the donuts? I wasn't, mate. It was, it was actually my my good friend's son, and uh, and that was his, that's his daily driver. And he said that harvest at a paddock, and he said, "Oh, just go in there and have some fun." He said, "Yeah, don't ask me twice." <laughs> 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 uh, I had to laugh at that one. That, that was good. Yeah, but it's a great clip. Um, uh, well chosen location, you know. It's uh, yeah, really goes well with the song. Um, but I got I, I got to ask, being a guitar player myself, uh, that um, that acoustic uh, that you play, uh, mm-hmm. at, you know, through well through most of the song, um, it's an unusual thing. What brand is that? It's a very old maiden. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Very old maiden, and, and it was my dad. My dad bought it when I was just a baby. So he's given it to me a few years ago now, and oh, wow. just bought it for sort of special occasions, yeah, um, things like this, yeah. Okay, it's, yeah, it's a, it's sort of got that road worn look about it, you know, but it, it's um, you know quite a nice looking, quite a nice looking box. Yeah, yeah, it's got a, it's really nice colour, and it's, yeah, it's definitely weathered and worn. <laughs> yeah, what what what's it what's its tone like? What's it what's it sound like? Mate, it's it's quite old and it needs quite a bit of work. So, okay. it's um, at the moment it, it probably need to go into the guitar doctor for a, a couple of weeks. You know. Ah, oh, yeah, right, yeah. But um, I'd say if, it, if that if that happened, it would be quite a, quite a really warm tone for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got an old mate myself, uh, not as old as that one, but. Um, uh, it's been to the factory quite a few times to get a bit of work done on it um, over the years. Um, but uh, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I, I just love that box. You know, it just sounds so good, so nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, we're getting away from it. Um, <laughs> um, All good. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's um? I mean, talk, I'd like to talk to you about your influences because I mean, you know that. You're obviously an artist that has, you know, taken, uh, who's sourced from different sources, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, tell us about uh, what influenced you as an artist to... Um, yeah. 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 Um, mate, I, I grew up on really, you know, authentic music. Um, Elvis. Or oh, okay. Neil Diamond. The Eagles. Springsteen. Mellencamp. You know, sleep with Mac. Oh, wow. Just, just the classics, you know. And um, I kind of discovered country as such, you know, back when Garth Brooks, and Brooks and Dunn, and all and all those guys really sort of kicked off mm-hmm. a whole new wave of country music back in the eighties. Yep. Um, and that's when I really went, wow, I'm loving this mixture of, you know, blues, rock and roll, country, a bit of everything. So. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. So my influences are quite, quite a bit of a melting pot, really. And I'm sort of mixing them up, and yeah, you know, it just sort of comes out as I as I hear it and feel it. I, I I hear where you're coming from. I'd I'd throw Dwight Yoakam into that mix too, mm. and maybe Alan Jackson. You know what I mean? I love those guys. They're so good. Yeah. Yep. Certainly, mate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now, um, I mean, you've been around for a while. You know, you've. You know, you've um, you, you paid your dues. You know, you've got your scars. Um, mm-hmm. What what advice would you have to someone just starting out? You know, like someone mm. eighteen, nineteen years old. You know, they're just kicking off. They've done their first, you know, sort of busking gig up at Tamworth and all that sort of stuff. What advice would you have for them, mate? I, I would certainly. The biggest thing for an artist is to find out who they are and what they want to say in right. the music. Okay. That that to me is is the biggest piece of the puzzle. Um, you can be born with a good voice. Yep. You can be, you know you can be born you can sit in your room and practice guitar till your till your fingers are red. Um, but I think the most important thing is to really find out who you are as an artist and what you want to say and and how you want to say it. Um, and because then then you're not just saying some not not just singing because you. you 
happen to be good at singing. Mm. Not just singing because, you know, it's the, it's the latest fashion, and so you might as well jump on it. You, you know, you're not just yeah. singing this music because you think you might get, you know, make a few bucks and, you know, get some sponsorship deals or whatever it is. Yeah. You're doing it because it's real. It's it's what's at the core of you. And, and um, so my advice, is, my advice is to find out who you are and and be absolutely authentic about it. Okay. Sounds sounds good to me. And uh, if you're listening, folks, especially if you're young and starting out, <laughs> um, golden words of advice, take them to heart because they're worth having. Uh, they're worth more than money. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, what, what, I, I, I ask this of a lot of people, and um, I, I don't think I've, I've asked you, but um, when you sit down and listen to music, just for the hell of it, just to entertain yourself, just you know, you know, you, you, you have, you've got a can of beer there, and you know, you're just sitting down relaxing, and you want to listen to some, t- you want to listen to some tunes. What, what do you get out? What, what do you listen to? But um, I'll often go back to the older stuff. Yep. You know, I'd often go back to those classics, you know. Uh-huh. Um, but I also listen to a lot of just songwriters, you know, who aren't, you know, in, in the limelight as well. Right. Um, just searching for those <clears throat> different ways of, <clears throat> excuse me, think of, of hearing things and saying things. Um, yeah, you know, and then sometimes I'll just put the, <clears throat> the hot... The hot you know, playlist on as well, and just okay going on there. Right. But um, yeah, a bit of yeah, I sort of a bit of bit of everything really. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Broad influences. That's fine. Um. All right. Look, we're nearly out of time, but I I got one more question I'd like to ask you. Um. And I, I think I might have answered it already, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, if you could pick three people to be on stage with, you know, your favourite, you know, just absolute whoever, doesn't matter whether they're alive or dead or whatever, you know, um, yeah. who, who would they be? I think I'd have to, you know, go back with those classics, you know. Okay. Back, you know, I mean, imagine being on stage, you know, during those, during those big Vegas concerts with Elvis. I mean, oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a bit of a rocker at heart. So, you know, yep. I've been to see Springsteen in concert and that is just an absolute experience. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Be a part of that energy. Yep. It would be pretty pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, but the other the other one would be, I mean, the ultimate performer in country music and, the, you know, the guy who blazed the, blazed the trail for pretty much every country act since the 80s is, is Garth Brooks. Okay, yep. I think, I think that would be... What an experience that would be too. So. Okay, would you smash a guitar with him or what? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, mate. I'd love to love to do that. <laughs> oh dear. All right, look, we're um, we're out of time, Adam. Unfortunately, I'd love to keep chatting with you, but um, yeah. uh, I, I, I thank you for your time. I really do. Um, I do appreciate you taking some time out on a Sunday afternoon to to have a chat with me. Um, and uh, I, I wish you all the best. I wish you every success. I know this next album is going to go gangbusters, and you know it's going to be a huge success for you. Um, and I'm really looking forward to uh, maybe getting my hands on it, um, and uh, you know, p- p- bunging some of the uh, tracks or all of the tracks into my playlist, and uh, you know, give them a bit of a spin on a regular basis because uh, I love your stuff, mate. I really do. I. I I deeply respect you as a as a performer and uh, as a professional artist. You know, I, I admire that you got uh, good good standard of professionalism and uh, you know some good qualities. So, yeah, mate, I, I appreciate those words more than more than you can imagine, mate. So thank you so much. And, well, they're sincere. I, you know, uh, yeah. I, I'm not mucking around. I don't uh, I don't throw accolades around. Um, you know, for no reason. Um, yeah. Look. Uh, have yourself a great time. Uh, all the best to you and uh, everyone you love and, you know, look after yourself. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you again real soon. Mate, I'd love to talk to you again soon, especially with the new album because there's some songs on there I'd love to uh, I'd love to share with you. Well, I'd love to play them, mate, so I'm really looking forward to uh, to hearing that album. In fact, I might chuck you a text uh, uh, when, we're, when I'm off air and, uh, you know, give me an address. Maybe you can send it to me. 
Yeah, oh, there, there was certainly becoming someone coming out there out to you from um, from ABC as well. So yeah, we, we, we definitely want people like you who support me. So, yep. so uh, you know, incredibly, you know, yeah. uh, we definitely want you to have have the album. So if you, if you feel like sharing it with people, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, you know, good music needs to be shared. Thank you, mate. Okay, mate. Look after yourself and take it easy and talk to you again. Have a great weekend. See you, mate. All right, mate. See you.